The polls, Michael, thank you so much. It is election day in Oklahoma and people all across the state are going to be heading out uh, to vote for races large and small. And one of the key races, Oklahoma governor. Today's a primary election, which decides who each party nominates to run in November. Incumbent Governor Kevin Stitz facing several primary opponents, including Joel Kinsel, uh, head of the Department of Veterans Affairs. Also, Mark Sherwood, Tulsa police veteran. The state school superintendent, Joy Hoffmeister, is running for the Democratic nomination. This after she switched parties in October. Well, she's facing former state Senator Connie Johnson. There's also the race for U.S. House District 2. That is Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen's current seat. Several candidates are vying for that spot since he is running for Senate, along with numerous others trying to win retiring Senator Jim Inhofe's seat. And with so many races to consider, there are some important reminders that you do need to keep in mind. To News Oklahoma's Caitlin Rivas joining us live now with a guide to Election Day. Caitlin, good morning. Corey, good morning. So polls open here at 7 this morning, just less than an, under an hour, and they close at 7 tonight. All you need to get into the polling place is your voter registration card or your unexpired government photo ID. Now, the poll worker will find your name in the precinct registry. Make sure it matches the name on your ID, and then you, the voter, will sign the registry next to your name to get your ballot. Once you're in the booth, you'll mark your ballot and then take it to the voting device. You'll insert it into the machine which will then confirm your ballot was counted. If the machine rejects your ballot, you'll have the option to override it, or you can request a new ballot from a poll worker and try it again. If you have any questions about the process, all these voting instructions will be on the ballot, and you'll also see them inside the voting booth. Now, once you voted, you'll get your, of course, your I Voted sticker. Everybody wants one of those, and then you'll be sent on your way. But before you post that picture to social media, there are a couple more rules to know. We'll hit those coming up in the next 30 minutes. Live in Tulsa, Caitlin Revis, 2 News, Oklahoma.